prominent UW football coach said that to me, and his point was simply do what you can when you're there. Because at some point in these positions, you might be asked to leave. And that's usually performance resulting. And so, you know, the viewpoint is is really like you can't worry about all the external adoration or uh, confrontation or, or, you know, you have to perform and you have to, in my words, I have to throw my punch. I have to have a vision. I have to work within this, this club. But we have to throw our punch because there can't be anything ambiguous, ambiguity if I'm asked to leave as to what I was trying to accomplish. I, I would like it to be clear. I would like for everyone to understand it. And I'm pretty open about sharing what the visions are. You know, in sports, we don't always accomplish what we set out to. Uh, welcome to the real world, right? That's why, that's why the standings always have someone on the bottom and someone on the top. Uh, I guess along those same lines, when what what are the conversations when you were hired for this job originally, like uh, twenty twenty one? Was was the idea that you were Garth's successor? Or was that not really something that that got brought up? No. And, because Adrian sort of like alluded to that possible. You know, it's 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 kind of wild. Uh, it's always fun to write the stories in hindsight, but in reality, I was spending a glorious amount of time with my wife and daughter, and this opportunity to come in and work with good people was what attracted me here. Uh, there was no thought process of what was the next step. Candidly, I had the opportunity last summer to take the next step, and it just didn't fit at the moment. But it, it had nothing to do with my future or current current situation here. Um, there was never a conversation. It was open-ended with Garth and Adrian. They let me pursue opportunities. But it was never a conversation or expectation that I would take over here. This, this is just, um, I guess, a byproduct of, of Garth's awesome opportunity, uh, and, and I think that's where, I guess, my my work over the last eighteen months put me in a position to work this one. Did you have any conversations with Garth uh, in the last couple weeks over like what, you know, I, not necessarily what he was doing, but like whether like. Talking about it, was mostly, it was mostly just me judging him as a human. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. Uh, no, look, we. one of the things I, I expressed to Garth and Adrian months ago was that uh, with the contract situation, with, with Garth's contract and the fan vote and everything, that I not be a part of any conversation uh, that they were having. I not be a part of conversations that they were having with anyone else. And that was out of respect to Garth and Adrian more than anything. You know, I, I didn't feel fundamentally, uh, I didn't feel it was appropriate to have those conversations because I have so much respect for Garth and Adrian. I didn't feel like it was right for me to put or perceived any pressure on either one of them. Uh, and, and yes, that makes me different. And I understand that, but I'm comfortable being different within this world of sports. I'm okay with that. And so these are really recent conversations. This is a bit of a whirlwind for me in the last 10 days, seven days, uh, because I specifically requested, and they both wildly respected that request, which in hindsight, I find to be quite admirable. I, and I just want to clarify what you mean by that. You were basically saying you don't, you didn't want to be basically used as a wedge of saying like, if like I wanted, I you can use me as a way of like saying like we don't need to bring Garth back because Craig is here. Not not only that, but I also didn't want Adrian to feel obligated. You know, I played for this club. This is the club that gave me my chance as a pro. This is the club that, if I go back through lineage of soccer and my experience, is the reason I was able to pursue on field dreams and win MLS Cups. Uh, two CONCACAF championships for those that keep track. Uh, no, but but look, it, it I didn't want Garth or Adrian to feel anything other than their freedom in their expression, in their roles. And no, that wasn't advantageous to me. Uh, that's giving up leverage. I understand that. But it's also how I choose to live my life. I, I wanted an opportunity because I earned it not because someone felt obligated. And so that, that was the intent of why I asked both of them to leave me out. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I have a lot of respect for both of them for doing that because I can't imagine it was easy. Uh, players here, everything that happens, 
uh, that goes on with the team. Obviously, uh, there were departure or postseason uh, interviews that were done with Garth. Are you planning to have those with the players to kind of get your take, gauge every one of them, somewhat introduce yourself, or what's the plan with the players? Yeah, I'm, I'm relatively familiar with all the players just because I was around every day. I mean. We saw each other a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I hope they're all comfortable having conversations immediate. But, you know, there, there is a change when titles change, when roles change. And so I'll need to re-familiarize myself with some of them uh, on an elevated level. There were conversations I wasn't part of, you know, be, that, that existed between mm -hmm. those players and those relationships in guard. And I respect that. And, and I'll establish my own. And, and it'll certainly be an invitation to all the players, I think, I don't think any of them will believe my door is closed based on the last 18 months and the interactions we've had. But you don't feel like it's necessary to just do individual interviews right off the bat before season starts, anything like that? Well, unfortunately for them, we have preseason where we're trapped in hotels. So I don't need to ask for those. I, we can kind of just make those happen. I mean, there's, a, there's enough time in preseason in those hotels to sit and have all those conversations and, 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 and in a comfortable environment where everyone's you know, feels free to actually dig in and, and share the truth. Thank you. Thanks.